testimony hub be inspired let experience create your own light this guy has gone through so much because you know the reason why a lot of us are not even ready for the big things that are about to happen to us because our mentality in itself cannot welcome congratulations you've been through so much that you cannot you cannot welcome let me share my personal mentality useless mentality experience with you sometime in my life I, I, I discovered that God decided to grant me a few exposures here and there people of God do you know that other people I say this all the time other people will and some people here are witnesses to what I'm saying because I was in such meetings with them so you know how it is I cannot eat in the public I was that shy as in I can't eat you can't I don't know why I don't like people seeing my mouth I'm a good eater like I eat with a courteousness okay with courtesy I eat well but for some reason I could, you know how it is people will line up and they are going for um buffet and then there's buffet everybody lines up and they're going I will when they say it is buffet time I said don't worry when they finish you came for a seminar when they finish oh yes it was that bad and when they everybody finishes I will now come and then when anything that is left is okay for me I'm not ready for so you'll be seeing chicken that even if you offer it the devil The devil himself will bind you. Those are the kind of things. So you'll be seeing things that are, but when I get there, I will pick all those rejects of every, I'll just pick and then I will be happy that I am the only one eating. If they become five again and enter that restaurant, maybe they want to have meeting, I will leave that thing again for them and then walk out. Oh, oh. Poverty is an idiot. And I'm not telling you anything that is too well, 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 well many years ago. Yeah. Pretty much many years ago. I mean, this was this is really like over 20 years, isn't it? I've not married you that time. Uh, so, and this is it. And but this was experience granting me, giving me mentality. You know, because sometimes you just look at yourself and then talk. I mean, but I, re I didn't realize that God was taking me, you know, somewhere. And, and these are people of God. Don't let experiences. Listen, you don't have money now, but you have. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Don't let anybody succeed in making you have low self-esteem. When others are learning something, follow them and learn. Because you're going, Shebi, I've told you people, okay, not here. I used to tell that story a while back. How I went to uh, this thing, administration. I went to Asaba for administration many years ago. And then when I got there, so a, a woman was so thrilled, was so happy. And I was like, oh, Pastor Jerry, I'll be picking you up in the evening. We're just going to be having, you know, whatever. And, all that. and it was a Chinese, you know, and then we're supposed to be eating with chopsticks. When we got there, they set the food. Me lay my fork on or there or no. Lay my spoon on or there or no. And how they believe, you know, and then, and now my, my you know, um, fire has melted my English. You know, then maybe I spoke too much English that they just felt like, man, this guy has traveled everywhere. And then when we sat down there, see, lay kwanonke, lay henge. And then by the time you go, everybody sat on the table. Grrr, they just did the thing. And the way they just be putting it in their mouth. Nobody, it wasn't here. I said, I can't. I can't. I can't. David says, I have not, I have not worn this type of clothes before. I took over the storytelling. I had to occupy my, my mouth so that they would not ask me why, you know. So they, I took over the story. I was telling why they were eating, rolling the thing and all of that. The more I looked to learn, the more it was difficult. I 
was looking at as I was telling the story, wishing that I will know what exactly are they doing. I just said to myself, let's not do this. I said, please, can I get a fork? I don't know how to use these things that you people are using. Listen, as you people are saying simple, there are places where you go to. Where I'm seeing most of us end up in. You must, there are places where you go to and then they will present to you four types of fork. That one that Prof. Segesi and I went to that restaurant, they, we went to in, um, in London and then we went to that restaurant. They kept how many knives for us? I raised up one. <laughs> I said, Prof, be going here again. <laughs> In organic, that is no you just for food. They will just line up a uh, uh, different fork. We name fork here because I really don't care. And then you see that you can see different knives, you see different uh, forks and all of so you have to use the right one. Don't let poverty stop you. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. Listen, where we are going to, we will tell them we were prepared for such a time as this. God is going to raise you. But guess what? Daniel and the rest went for them to stand in front of the king away from, uh, what's it called? Away from the fact that they were given some kind of food. They had to be trained to look like men of the palace. You are laughing too loud. Your mouth opens too wide when you laugh. Where you're going to, they don't laugh like that. So that you don't embarrass your helper. As they are saying to you, dot your eyes and cross your T's. You have no idea that some helpers can be very meticulous to the letter. Some, some people you're relating with cannot, doesn't, they can look into every, I remember, I mean, um, my friends, um, uh, 50th, um, Tony Ko, and then the table that I was on, even Pastor Godman agreed that this particular table, only God knows what is going on here. Every kind of thing they placed and all that. And the people who knew what they were placing there knew how to open it and all that. So I was sitting with him and said, Jesus, how far? So I don't know. I said, we must eat here. How? At some point, he had to stand up and went and met one person he knows, a church member. I said, give us food. Don't give us these things that you are scattering around the table. Yes, because it, those things were food, but they were packaged differently. And they were, you know how it is, you carry food, looking for how to open food. How do you embarrass two grown men like that and keeping them? Guess what? We didn't even learn how they did that thing. All we did was that we succeeded in eating food and we came out of there. It's no good. Don't let your, we're saying this and we don't understand. Don't let your experiences some of us have been comfortable in who we are and who we used to be. That who we should be has no space anymore in our lives. The Holy Spirit says, I'm done. Can you stand on your feet? Lay those two hands on your head and just say, Lord, help me. Help me, Lord. Help me. Help me, Lord. Shanda baraboro kosota la bashara ha. Le barada koso kata inda la barababa shota liada. Karada bosokoto shibara inda la barabaraba korosi yada ha. Shibara inda kosati la barabo shaki darabaha. Handa rakoto sibala inda la bababa shota la. Karata kosokoto shibara ndikasa. Le porodo kosokoto bashadi la barabaraba. Karadi would you just receive mercy Lord her adventure that I've wasted destiny while years are still ahead of me Lord my years will become empty 
if destiny has been wasted even when the years are young your years are young but destiny has been buried it will look like a man is not moving forward but you don't understand it's no longer your fault destiny has been wasted but years are still are still moving but I know a God who can make all things new who can make all things new was it carelessness that wasted destiny was it lack of zeal lack of zest lack of direction that wasted destiny above all let this be one thing that will resonate strongly in your heart Lord I don't want to bask in the euphoria of a new garment in the euphoria of a ring on my finger in the euphoria of a shoe on my feet I am more bothered about tomorrow I'm more bothered about tomorrow what is left is it just my brother's owner what is left is it just my brother's owner receive mercy for any way however destiny has been wasted in the name of Jesus